Hey there YouTubers, so in this video I'm going to adjust the uh, undervolting settings while running Cinebench R23. Now otherwise, pretty much default settings right now. Power limit set to unlimited and default uh, multipliers. So out of the box, was not able to achieve the 40,000 score in Cinebench R23. And it appears that uh, without an overclock, probably won't be able to do it. So let's run this at default. And then we'll, uh, we'll put some slight undervolts in it, see if we can get an increase in the score which will drop down on the, uh, the temps as well. So 39.656. And then it got up to 99. Wow. Maybe I should have watched this. Um, 318. 316. Ooh. That's something there. All right, so he has slight undervolt. Now, we're running a uh, Arctic Liquid Freezer 2 280-millimeter AIO. And so you would think that this uh, would be enough, but maybe it's not. Now, for this round, we're going to watch this. Let's just see if we can get to 40,000 here. So I think the temperature is going to be a little lower this time. Didn't see the power go up as high. No thermal limit throttling. So it's at 99 again. Not as much power used. So that tells me the score is probably going to be less. Oh, nope. 39,700. Ever so slightly more. Oh, so let's go ahead and go up just a little bit. There might be some sweet spot in here, folks. That's that's really what we're looking for. Sweet spot test. This is a lot of the stuff I don't show you because I just kind of jump around in the videos because I've already done these things. Um, I mean, I just get this temp down a little bit more. I'm just trying to figure out what this is. MSI. It's not even MSI motherboard. So I did use this drive on a different uh, motherboard. Well, okay, quite a few different motherboards. All right, so adjusting the undervolt again. And at some point, we'll see a significant drop in temperature. It looks like less power again. And this is, uh, this thing's using quite a bit more power than the i7 did. Ninety six degrees. Yeah, so it's dropping off. So you would think the uh, score would be less. Oh, even higher. Even higher. Now, I mentioned this was with the Eris. Eris Z690 Extreme AX. 
my personal favorite motherboard. However, I have noticed uh, the scores, you know, slightly less out of the box with the, you know, I say that with the BIOS update compared to what my MSI Pro Z690 was doing. But it was running a little hot for this one. Yeah, it's a bit hot too, but looking at the i7 numbers. A little different. Everything's hot with this CPU. All right. Now we've just did a 30. You know, it's funny. Yeah. You just truly forgot whether, uh, we had done this one yet. Hopefully I'm not doing the same settings twice. <laughs> that doesn't look like it. Okay, so further drop of power. Temperature dropping more. Question is, folks, will the benchmark go up again? No, it went down. Um, and just to see if that is really the case or not, we're going to run this one more time. So we saw power went down. All right, 40 millivolt. So right now, 20 millivolt is the best setting. Could be 15 millivolt, could be 25 millivolt. So further drops in temperature. And honestly, not much performance difference here right so uh, if you're hitting you know 100 dropping in a little under volt is probably a good thing wow look at that so we hit 39.769 so maybe uh, 30 millivolts was you know just a bad bad run and ideally, you'd probably do three or four of these at each setting just to make sure. So we'll go 45 this time. And I'm really, honestly, I'm hoping this will keep going up. All right, so one more time. And I didn't reset this, but... You can watch the screen and see power is dropping off or lowering. Temperatures continue to go down. Okay, so... score went down a little bit so 40 is either the sweet spot or maybe it was 35 so we'll do this one more time the exciting stuff folks actually as an engineer this this is a little more enjoyable than some things I do. So 
So of course temperatures will be a little bit up and the power usage a little bit up. Let's see what we got for a score. Oh wow. That's our best score here with this motherboard. So I honestly don't think we're going to gain anything going anywhere, but sticking with this value, right? Now, just to make sure, so 35 millivolts, undervolt 35 millivolts, seems to be the best with this motherboard with default settings. Now, just to make sure there's no drastic change, and you should gradually go up and not jump up like I did, right? So you don't know whether I've done this before, um, but you should take your time trying to find the ideal numbers in here. So we'll get a significant temperature drop for sure here. Question is whether multi-core performance will suffer. Let's run this one more time. And back, sorry, I'm distracted by this other computer. 39,597, so the score did go down as expected. The temperatures, much better. Power usage, significantly less. Um, but folks, I'm going to dial in 35 and that's what you're going to see default settings for gaming from me all right that's what i'm going to go with now when we get the 420 aio on here um we're going to have to change some things again because this is probably not going to be the ideal spot thanks for checking out the video please like please subscribe thank you